What's going on guys, I'm Steven, and a while back the Dave Ramsey Show gave me the advice to put my money into a savings account. So in honor of that, I found the five best savings accounts of 2022, and I compiled this list. But with that, let's get into the video. I'm gonna start this video off with the American Express Savings Account, which provides a great 1.5% APR, no hidden fees, and no minimums. But above all that, it's FDIC insured, which means the federal government is backing it up to $250,000, and this will be the same for every account in this video. But with that, let's move into the next one. The second savings account we're gonna talk about on this list is the Capital One 360 Savings Account, which provides the same 1.5% APR that the last savings account provided, but it also provides the no hidden fees and no minimums. The only difference is that Capital One has a lot more in-person branches, which I believe will make it easier to move money in and out of the account. And that's why I listed it above the last one. The third savings account on this list is the Discover Savings Account, with an excellent 1.6% APR, no hidden fees and no minimums. The only thing is this one does have a $30 outgoing wire transfer fee, which could make it harder to move money out of the account. But other than that, it's a very, very good account. And that's why I'm putting it so high on this list. The fourth savings account on this list is Marcus by Goldman Sachs. The same savings account I talked about when I went on the Ramsey show a few weeks back. It provides an even better 1.7% APR, no hidden fees, no minimums, and actually even no wire transfer fees. So I truly believe it is the best bank account for my personal needs, which is why when I turn 18 in about two months, this is the account that I'll be moving all my money into. The fifth and final savings account we'll be talking about on this video is for people who really care about maximizing APR, and it is CIT Bank Savings Account, which gives you an incredible 1.9% APR, which is the highest I've seen from a credible bank. Now, it does come with some fees to go along with that and some minimums. It comes with a $100 minimum, uh, you can only withdraw six times per month, which is kind of what threw me off. That's what made me not personally choose this account for my use. And it charges you $10 for outgoing wire transfer fees, unless you have more than $25,000 in your account. But if you can get over all that, it will give you the highest interest rate that I could really find from a credible source. So to recap, because this list was in ascending order of APR, the two bank accounts I recommend you looking at are the top two, which is Marcus by Goldman Sachs and CIT Bank. And my only recommendation is if you have less than $25,000 or if you plan on moving your money around a lot, stick to Marcus by Goldman Sachs. But if you don't plan on moving your money around and you have more than $25,000, I'd seriously consider CIT Bank. But with that, let's go to the outro. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like. If you have any questions or maybe you know of a better bank account like I mentioned in the future, please be sure to comment. And if you want to see more great videos like this, which believe me, I have a bunch of really great stuff planned, especially once I turn 18, please be sure to subscribe. But with that, I'll see you in the next one.